Hi there, and welcome to this episode of Consciousness Empowerment. Today I'm going to talk about what resonated with me in today's readings. It's interesting, the way I get these topics, I, I think of them the day before or the day of, or both. Okay, and you know, here we talk about consciousness, the law of attraction, and how to reach your fucking dreams. Now, <clears throat> the secret, the book, The Secret by Rhonda Byrne was calling to me. <clears throat> and I was watching her speak on the School of Greatness with Lewis Howes. Now, there are many ways to manifest. So I'm going to go over the ways of manifesting. A little preface. We were all one individual universal mind, right? The universe is the universal mind. It created us. We have an individual mind or soul, individual consciousness. And what we impress in our subconscious, it presses in the universe and it gives you what you want. Now I'm going on to the ways of manifesting. <clears throat> First, let's start with what you're not, how you won't. So how you will not manifest the things that you want is by focusing on the things that you do not want and talking bad about others. Because the bad that you put out is coming back to you. Remember, we're all one. So the law of attraction works with you only. Whatever you're thinking is coming back to you. So if you're thinking, I don't have, I don't have, then you're going to not have. If you say, I don't, I don't like this guy, X, Y, Z, or, or a girl, X, Y, Z, and then gossip about it, it's only you. The universe is only listening to you. So you're going to get it back. So I would, I, I would say it's safe to say you don't want bad things to happen to you, right? So let's keep that in mind. <clears throat> Very similarly, you think of what you want, despite whatever you see out here fuck what you see out here okay say i have more than enough use the money that you have i have more than enough because the more you exercise money the more you'll come say i'm healthy i'm gonna work out i'm gonna show the strength this vigor this health even if you have some pain or you're sick express the health express it Fuck what you see out here, okay? So focus on what you want. I forgot my cat was right here. Both of them were right here with me. One was right behind me. You probably saw him leave behind me. So focus on the things that you do want. See yourself with the thing that you want. I like this example that Rhonda Byrne talked about in the the interview she said she was talking to somebody who couldn't manifest having a baby for some reason the universe was not giving it to her and she was really struggling this woman was really struggling when you're struggling and not believing that it's done you're not feeling the wish fulfilled is not going to happen so <clears throat> what she said is see yourself with the baby you know see yourself with the baby in your imagination and you know feel the feelings of that feel the joy of that and she got pregnant, right? She got pregnant. The thing here is that we have to th see the end. See the end, right? For example, you don't see yourself looking at cars or looking at the car that you want to buy because that means you don't have it yet. You're looking for it in your imagination. What you want to do is see yourself driving it and parking it in your home and then going inside your home falling asleep. Why? Because you're not taking it back. You know, it doesn't belong to anybody else. It's yours. Parking in your garage, going home, falling asleep, getting ready to, to uh, go to sleep. So this is just an example, right? See the outcome. For example, if you want to get a certain degree to have a certain job, see yourself in the job already. Okay. 
see it done. See it done. Another one is prepare for it. See it done and prepare for it. For example, there was a story about, in the interview, a story about a woman who wanted a horse. She didn't have enough money for it. So she bought the bridle, which is the thing for the mouth, for the head. <clears throat> and she put it on her table, actually. So I guess she was eating and breakfast and everything. She would see it there. And nature abhors a vacuum. It doesn't like empty space. It will have to fill it up. Or you could say it likes a vacuum, you know. It, it just gives. So it'll fill it up. <clears throat> it'll fill up the space. So another way to manifest. I thought I manifested one of my trucks. I got the license plate, a UCLA license plate that I was going to put on it. And I did put on it. And then I would test drive the cars. I would visualize it myself driving the, the truck, parking it at my parking spot when I was leaving out to take the bus. I would see the, out of my imagination, I would see the truck there. <clears throat> so those are ways to manifest, okay? Visualizing, seeing the outcome and feeling the feelings, feeling the joy of it. And creating the space for it. If you want a, a girlfriend or a boyfriend, get a king size or queen size bed. A big bed, it shows that you are creating space and sleep on one side of it. Don't sleep in the middle of it. These things that show that it's already there, basically. You're, you're preparing the, the foundation, the physical foundations. And it's like, it's already there. You, it, will, it will probably make you feel like it's already done. You know what I'm saying? It'll help you get to that vibration, that frequency. That's what it's all about. And then understanding how this works, understanding that your mind is connected to the universal mind. And whatever you impress in the subconscious and universal mind, it will have to manifest. Just like we see all these inventions made. They had to think it, impress it, and it was created. They had to think. All things come from thought. All things. Now, the last thing I want to leave you with is belief, being certain. Rhonda Byrne gave this example of her being certain she was going to write a book. And she said it was above belief because it was like a knowing, right? I, I want to connect that to intuition. I interpret it as intuition, like knowing something, right? It's not said in words. It's not belief. It's just you just know. Like, I know my mom loves me. I don't have to believe it. I know. With every fiber of my being and soul, I know my mom loves me. So when you're manifesting, you have belief because of the knowledge of an, of an, and understanding. Right? That's why I encourage you to read, study, Watch these videos every day if they resonate. And then there's being certain, just like know, knowing, because you can hear or feel something above mine, which is like, <clears throat> you can't really explain it. The only way I could explain it is intuition, just kind of like hearing, hearing the voice plus knowing. You have to experience it for yourself. Hope that example helped you about my mom. Like, I just know. There's no doubt. So you can use those to believe or knowing. And they could be stemmed. They can be... They can be grown from study. The studying will result in belief and knowing. So I hope you like this one. Make sure to rewind this, write down the notes if it resonated with you so you can start manifesting. And I love you. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want more resources, check below. They 
will help me continue to do this so I can do this for you all full time. Okay. Uh, thank you for being here and supporting the channel and being part of the Consciousness Empowerment Tribe. Till next time. Peace. And I love you.